Conduction of heat. This video talks about the conduction of heat. Let's perform an activity to understand the conduction of heat. Take a straight and flat rod of aluminum or iron to fix some nails using wax. Fix the rod to a stand. Now, heat the other end of the rod with a spirit lamp. Absorb the order in which the nails drop down. The nail near the spirit lamp falls down first, followed by its nearest neighbor, and so on. The one near the stand falls down last. The heat supplied by the spirit lamp flows to the other end of the rod by conduction. We know that in solids, molecules are closely packed, touching one another. When heat is supplied to one end of the rod, the molecules absorb the heat and begin to vibrate vigorously. These vibrations are passed onto the neighboring molecules and make them also vibrate. This phenomenon is repeated throughout the length of the rod. In this way, the heat energy gets transferred from the hot region to the cold region. Transmission of heat in solid substances takes place through conduction. For the conduction to take place from the hot portion of the body to the cold part of it, or from the hot body to the cold body, the two parts should be in contact with each other. When the temperatures of these bodies are equal, the flow of heat through conduction process stops. We can observe this phenomenon while using a thermometer. When the bulb of the thermometer touches a hot substance, the mercury absorbs the heat and it expands. When the temperature of the tip of the thermometer and the substance are equal, no transfer of heat takes place. So, the level of mercury does not increase further. Two conditions are to be fulfilled to transfer heat from one object to another by conduction. They are 1. The two objects must be touching each other. 2. There should be some difference in the temperature of the two objects. Heat transfers from the object at a high temperature to the other which is at a low temperature. When a teaspoon is put in a cup of hot water, these two conditions are fulfilled. Water and the spoon are touching each other. The temperatures are different, so the cold spoon absorbs the heat from the hot water, and so its temperature rises.